everything was shutting down the day Hannah Lockman got sick one year ago. I was actually at work when I started feeling really, really bad. I just remember it was the day that they canceled March Madness. March 12th, struggling for breath, she went to the hospital, the first of 18 trips to the ER in nine months. My medical expenses last year, if I didn't have insurance, were upwards of $200,000. Um, even with insurance, it was close to $8,000. To this day, she still struggles with headache, heart, and lung issues that won't go away. Like, my rib cage has been sore for almost a year, which is hard to believe. Americans are using fewer health services overall during the pandemic, but COVID costs are more than making up for that health care spending. The vast majority of it goes to hospitalizations, but then there are those slow recovering, long haul cases like Hannah's. We're seeing about seven and a half percent of people having claims uh, for COVID more than 12 weeks out from COVID. Analyzing early 2020 claims from nearly 150,000 employers, Cigna found post COVID patients had higher new diagnoses for heart conditions and tissue damage than the average seen in 2019. You have this new population of people that are suffering long-term consequences of their COVID infections. Hannah just hopes she can get back to normal. I hope I'm that person again because, you know, sometimes it feels like I have lost a bit of myself. Bertha Coombs for the news. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.